For a country which made headlines for sending a US citizen to six strokes of cane for vandalism, one wonders how street art can thrive here. But looking at the streets of Haji Lane, plastered with wall murals and colourful paintings sprayed on by street artists, the country is probably looking at this rebellious form of art with new eyes. Endorsement by the authorities has helped shift the perception of graffiti away from what is regarded as a crime to recognising it as an art form in its own right. Street art gives Singapore an added energy and exciting edge, appealing to a wider range of tourists who may find the previous squeaky clean image a tad aseptic. In recent years, the National Arts Council has expanded its effort in promoting the graffiti art form. From providing appointed wall spaces for street art to organising promotional events, it's certainly done a good job in growing interest in this field. But before you bring out your spray cans to beautify that wall on your corridor, stop. Giving you the permission to vandalise within boundaries does not mean you can doodle anywhere you like. Getting caught creating unsanctioned art in Singapore is still considered a serious crime. Jail terms of up to three years, fines of up to 2,000 Singapore dollars, or even caning up to eight strokes. As such, most of the street art you see on Singapore's walls today has been officially sanctioned by the government in one way or another. Then there is the commission of artworks by private property owners. But for an art form which started out as a way for personal expression, or even a form of political statement, doesn't confining it to restricted spaces and drawing guidelines go against its basic principles? Is graffiti still considered street art if you have to ask before you paint? Street art is often seen as representing the voice of the people, and even a tool for rebellion in some societies. But in Singapore, the compromise between the state, street artists and property owners have given the subversive art form a new lease of life. By promoting street culture, art appreciation and limited freedom of expression in a country known for its strict laws, Singapore has indeed done well to surpass its sterile image towards a more open and creative society.